Professor Hanushek, you gave a lecture tonight here at the IFO Institute all over. You came from Stanford, which is far away from Munich, to talk about the question, can the world develop? And what you say is it needs to learn. What does that mean? It, well, what we've learned from history is that growth depends upon the skills of the population. We tend to, to think it's autobahns in Germany. If you build enough autobahns, then there will be growth. The only way you have autobahns is that you had some well-trained, smart people sometime in the past who designed this roadway system that connects the major systems. And what we've seen in the world is that in order to get both autobahns and productive plants to make cars and all these other things, we need smart people. So if it's so simple, why isn't it happening everywhere? I think the answer is that education is very complicated. It's not simple. The result is simple that if you have a smart population, you can grow faster. But the result of how you get to that smarter population is not as clear. And what we've struggled with is how to make better schools and, in part, how do we change from the schools we have to different schools because people in the current schools like the schools they're, they're teaching in or working in, and so it's hard to get them to consider different schools. So what you say also is that uh, one of the basics for better skills in the population is better teachers. Absolutely. There are many things that go into learning. Parents are really important, but we don't know how to change parents. But we do have control of the schools. That's where we think people are going to get the advanced learning. And that's what we have to do, work on, is how, how good are our schools. Uh, how is your evidence on all that? Well, the evidence on the importance of having smart people in a population is strong. The evidence on the specific ways that we improve schools is not as strong. We know some overall things. We know that having good accountability systems that record how well schools are doing are important. We know that having a little bit more competition among schools so that parents have a choice of what schools they send their kids to has a positive impact. But none of these things just transform a poor system into a good system. They all help, and the things that we have to change are very country-specific, because cultures differ and schools differ. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.